Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use just a little bit of custom code to change the style of the calendar block in your Squarespace website. We're going to be doing things like adding creative background colors and borders and even changing up some of the text styles. Now, if you're brand new to CSS, I will walk you through this step by super simple step, but I do have a free training available at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There you can learn more about exactly what CSS is, how it works with Squarespace, and I've got a few more practice codes for you to try. So check that out, insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. But if all you wanna do is work on that calendar block today, you're in the right place. Let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and I'll show you how this works. So here we are in Squarespace, and I do want to mention I am using the Fluid Editor in version 7.1, but these codes will work for any version, any version of Squarespace. So your editing experience might look different, but this content block will be the same. So really quickly, I'm going to hop into edit mode and show you here. I just selected add block. Again, I'm using Fluid Engine, but however, you can add a content block even in an older version. What you're going to want to find is your calendar block. That's what we've added here. So if I double click on this calendar block, you can see you can assign this to a blog, events, a product, or a single column blog. Like you've got a lot of different options here. However, you want to display your events, blog posts, products, or gallery images as a calendar, you can set that up here. I'll link to this learn more in the video description below. So once you have that assigned to something, so dates will show up on your calendar here, what we're going to do with CSS is give this calendar a border. We're gonna change the month and the year text style. Right here it says August 2022, and we're gonna change that. We're gonna fill in today's date with a custom color. You can see how far in advance I record my tutorials here. We're working on Thursday the 11th. We're going to create round event days. The 19th, 25th, and 30th here all have events in this calendar. So we're actually going to make those round and we're gonna change the color. All of that using custom code that is listed in the description below. Before we add that code, I'm gonna hop into edit mode and I'm gonna make this calendar a little bit smaller because I wanna make sure that we can actually see what's going on here. So there we go, I've shrunk the calendar down a bit and now I can enlarge the code so you can see what's actually happening. Okay, cool. Now let's scroll down and we'll navigate to design and then custom CSS. This is where we're gonna paste the code that's beneath the video. So this first code here gives a solid red border to the entire calendar. So I can make this 3px if I want to. I can make it, uh, let's say my favorite shade of teal. We can go ahead and do that one. You can also give it a border radius if you want to, to curve in those edges. Here I'll say border radius 15px, and that curves the edges in. And we can also use this to give it a solid color background if you want to stand out a little bit more. I'll add another semicolon and I'll say background, just a light gray. There we go. Now my calendar has a different color and a different border, all of it using this selector, which is basically the code name for what this calendar content block is. So we've added a border, adjusted the width of the border, the style and the color. And then we went ahead and gave it a border radius to curve in those edges there. And we gave it a solid background color. Now let's change the month and the year text style. The selector for that is this one right here, YUI3 calendar header label. I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and let's say text transform uppercase. Now it's all uppercase. Let's give it a little letter spacing as well. We can say letter spacing, how about 0.5 REM? There we go, now it's spaced out a little bit. Let's say we want it to be super bold. I can say font weight 900. That's the boldest that this font will go. You might be a little limited to what your font is capable of. I just happen to know that this font can go all the way to 900, so that's why I've added that. And uh, let's go ahead and change the color. We'll make it pink, and that's really hard to read. Let's go ahead and make it purple. There we go. So using this selector, you can apply any of the font or text styles to change the style of the month and the year that's shown at the top of your calendar. All right, next on our list was filling in today's date with a custom color. Again, I'm recording this early, so we're working on August 11th here, and this is the selector for today's date. I'm just gonna open up a curly bracket and we'll say background yellow, exclamation point, important. There we go. Now, why did I add exclamation point important? We needed to make sure that the browser was gonna pick our code over any other code it sees. So sometimes we have to add that to CSS because we're customizing it even further inside this custom CSS panel. So that's why we've added that code. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the border and make it round. I'll say border none, exclamation point important. There we go. And we'll say border radius 50%. And now we have a round today's date with a custom color. Pretty cool, right? 
Let's go ahead and do the same thing to days that have events on them, 19th, 25th, and 30th on this calendar example here. There's one selector if a day has an event. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here so we can add more code. We'll add a new line. This is the selector, YUI3 Squarespace Calendar dot has dash event. Now we can open up a curly bracket and I'm sure you guessed what this is gonna be, background. How about we go with blue, exclamation point, important. Spelled correctly. There we go. All right, now it's a vibrant blue there. It's kind of hard to see the actual date with such a dark color. So let's go ahead and change the color of the font only for the days that have events. We can do that with the property color. Color and then hashtag FFF is the hex color code for a solid white. But you can also do a web safe color name if you want to or whatever color you're comfortable with there. All we have to do is say color and then add the color code and it'll change just the date that is an active event. Notice all of the other numbers in the calendar are exactly the same. Let's go ahead and create round event days too. That was also on our list here. I'm gonna add a semicolon and I'm gonna say border radius 50%. There we go. And now those are round as well. So a lot of fun codes to play with today, all super customizable. I wanna encourage you to get really creative. Changing up the backgrounds, borders, border radiuses, all kinds of fun stuff to do with the fonts as well. You've got a lot of options here. Whatever you decide to do, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And that's it for this tutorial. Again, all of those codes are listed in the description below, but definitely get creative with those background colors and borders and all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.